On August 1st, the village of Oxford celebrated its third annual Lone Ranger Parade, which took place on the corner of Burdick and Washington Street. The parade was inspired by famous radio actor Brace Beamer, who not only played the Lone Ranger, but also resided within Oxford throughout his later years. Well, to start with, the, the weather was just phenomenal. The faces of people were just beaming with joy. I mean, people from all around, not just Oxford and Orion, but there's people here from Lansing, Toledo, Frankenmuth, all over the place. Just everyone had a great time. It was a great event. The theme was brotherhood, or I should say present tense, the theme is brotherhood. And I, and I think that resonates a lot in today's society. It's just it's a great theme, and, and it really fits with, with what's going on today. Just a lot of happy people, all in a great mood. The theme of this year's parade was brotherhood, which was quite apparent throughout the day as people from all over the county and state gathered to watch the festivities, from Lake Orion all the way to Lansing, truly making this a community-oriented event for everyone to take part in. I say we're so happy to have our friends from Lake Orion. I know once a year we all we all don our colors and we go up against each other on the football field, but uh, the friendly neighbors just south of us uh, always uh, happy to have you guys up here and take you know filming this and doing all that. Um, it's an awesome time. We enjoy ourselves at the Lone Ranger Festival, bringing like some hometown values, and I know it spills out down into Lake Orion. And uh, I tell you, we were very lucky to have two young ladies uh, that sang here today, and they're uh, they're from uh, the local area as well. So it's just a great time, and we're uh, glad ONTV is up here. I don't know. I'm going to make a prediction for football, though. Oxford this year, okay? <laughs> As for the parade itself, the whole experience was quite exciting, with live entertainment, multiple bands, tons of luxurious cars, and exactly nine big heads from the popular Thanksgiving Day Parade in Detroit scattered throughout the streets, making Oxford's parade one of its biggest events of the summer. Um, I like the, the guy dressed up like the Indian that was walking around. I wanted to get a photo with him, but I never did, but I thought he was really cool. I liked that and I liked how they faked a shooting at the beginning. That was kind of cool. So, and also, of course, I enjoyed singing before the parade. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not only that, but there were also some surprise skits shown during the event, which featured a gang of bank robbers attempting to steal some cash from a Wells Fargo horse carriage riding throughout the city. Tell us a little bit about that bank robbery earlier. Oh, the bank robbery is great. We did it, you know what? It was so tempting to, to actually throw in a real bank robbery, but we just kind of held ourselves back, you know? But that was fun, it was in theme, and obviously the good guys won, and we know the Lone Ranger's a good guy, don't we? Fortunately, this year's parade had a Lone Ranger of its own to help carry out his duty and remind us of the character's unwavering creed. It was great because we got to watch the whole beginning part of the parade before we uh, brought up the tail end. Are you aware the Lone Ranger's been around for 83 years? Is based on a book that is 100 years old this year. And when it came on tel television in the early 50s, it was black and white. Now, the Lone Ranger was in black and white in another way. It was about morale, and it was a moral code that was black and white. We didn't always follow it, but we knew we should. The credo, I believe, was reinforced in our churches, schools, and yes, even amongst politicians, even if they didn't personally follow it. The Lone Ranger Creed can be found online, and that creed still fits well, everything we have today, even though it was written 83 years ago. Even Tonto himself, although not much of a talker, had a message of his own to deliver. Tonto is a man of few words, but Tonto is honored to be here today to pay tribute to my Kimosami amongst the Oxford White Eyes. And Tonto will return in 12 moons to once again ride next to the masked man. The Lone Ranger Parade is not only one of Oxford's most beloved events, but its theme of brotherhood epitomizes everything that the Lone Ranger stood and still stands for today. Something to remember in today's often troubling times. From Oxford, I'm Jonathan Jackson for ONTV News.